videos. Um, I thought I'd do a, um, what's it called when you go around with someone? What's it called, Scott? He doesn't know. Um, anyway, day in the life. That's, thank you. Day in the life video. I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't videoed in two weeks. I put two videos up, but they were pre-recorded, as they say on television. And, um, because I've been sick, and Scott's been sick. And when I say sick, you have no idea how sick we've been. We had the flu. It was really bad. And we're still sick. You can hear it in my voice, but... We decided to get out of the house today. It's absolutely beautiful outside. There's not, I don't see one single cloud. It's 73 degrees. And we decided to head to the outlet mall. That's about half an hour from the house. So we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go up to Sarasota. So I will film some. We might go out to lunch. And um, if anything's interesting at the outlet mall, I'll let you know. Okay, we're heading south. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see this through the dirty window, but... Okay, so pretty. I love this bridge. Anyway, we just left the outlet mall, and I had quite the success. I got my mother a couple things, and I got... And Scott got me something that I picked out that I wanted last year. And I thought it was discontinued and I couldn't believe it when we saw it and I will show it to you in my Christmas haul and I will say remember this is what I picked out at the outlet mall so it's pretty exciting I mean I was so thrilled it was not expensive but it's something that I really really liked last year someone was showing it in their Christmas haul or no it was just a haul and I just thought oh that's so cute and anyway okay so now we're gonna go to lunch. So when we get to Sarasota, I will show you the gorgeousness. Bye. All right, we're going over the bridge, going over to St. Armand's. Oh, so pretty today. They have gorgeous shopping, so I'll do some of the, I'll show some of the shopping when we get over there. Every time we come over here, it's like a mini vacation. I love it, even if we just stay for the day. Water looks great today. I never understand the people that stop here and lay out. I mean, hello, there's a beach that's absolutely giant and gorgeous, like two minutes over this other little tiny bridge, and people stop. It's weird. I sometimes want to get out of my car and tell them, do you not realize? But some of those places you can have your dog and that's why they stop there, because you can take your dog. There is one of my favorite stores, it's called Shore. It is so expensive and so cute. There's Lily Pulitzer. I don't know about that. Feels a little, well, I don't know. It's not my style, I'm into just plain. There's Chico Soma. They have great stuff. You found parking? And here's all the outdoor eating. And um, this is the circle. It's called St. Armand's Circle. Oh my gosh, we're in a spot. I thought we were in traffic. <laughs> okay, my coconut shrimp is here. Actually, we're splitting that. And we're splitting that big giant burger. We're at Cha Cha Coconuts, and um, it's we decided to eat inside. Well, we're actually inside outside, but it was too sunny. Of course, now there's one table in the shade. But okay, I have to show you this I mean, strategically to look at what that lady's wearing on her feet. Yep, it's Crocs. <laughs> anyway. All right, we're gonna have our great little meal and then we're gonna go shopping. This is where we are. If you're interested in pausing and reading, you can. I'm sure you're not. Here's a statue of a man. Not sure what he's doing. There's all kind of statues around here. I'll have to show you when we get to them. Okay, this morning, somewhere right down that street, um, our waiter, 
at the um, restaurant told us that a um, meth lab blew up on the 12th floor of, I think, that apartment building. I'm not even sure, but we're going to go over there and look and see if we can figure out which one. The beach is right down that road. Anyway, oh, it's so pretty. And we've decided we're going to go get ice cream because there's the most amazing ice cream ever, ever, right there's down there. Circle circle. Oh, these are famous circus people, my husband just told me. Because, you know, Ringling Brothers, Barnum & Bailey Circus winter here. They spend their winter here before the big show starts in July. I mean, January every year. Girls, I found these leg warmers. That's what you need. Leg warmers in Florida made of fur. Now, this is one of my favorite stores. It's called Fantasy. Get it? Fantasy. And it's so pretty inside. It's just gorgeous in there. Lots of beachy things. Very pretty. I love it. And here's a little seahorse. It's a pretty restaurant. Some water for the puppy? I like that. Here's a little um, circle with some statues and I have to say they're not even close to what they look like in Paris. It's sad. But there's a Christmas tree. It's probably pretty at night. No, I'm not looking for woodland creatures. This is such a cool store. We're in the ice cream store and look at the peanut brittle. And I don't know what he's going to do with that chocolate log. I got chocolate, caramel, cashew, and Scott got cookies and cream. He always gets the giant cone, of course. And I always get a cup. And it's a pretty... I have to maintain my girl's figure. <laughs> Here's some little stuff to learn about the beach. There goes a fire truck. I'm telling you, there's news helicopters, fire trucks, everything around here after the meth lab blew up. It sounds like we live in an awful place. Look, enjoy your park. No fire, no camping, no animals, no soliciting, no glass, no vehicles, and no smoking. It's not a very fun beach. I wish I had my chair and a glass of wine and my shorts on. And it's, it's just so pretty. Oh, love it. Anyway, I hate to go on and on. I sound like an idiot, but... <clears throat> and just one more thing that drives us nuts. We've been to this beach quite a few times, and see this sign? It says, restrooms concession, half a mile. We have walked four miles, and we've never found the restroom or the concession, and it just drives us nuts. And just so you know, I love beach grass, and I love sea grapes. They're just pretty, I mean, they're not pretty, as in, they're pretty ratty looking, because you get a lot of wind on the beach, but, they remind me of the beach. Okay, after I said that we can never find the bathroom, <laughs> we found it today. We've been here, I can't tell you, 20 times, and we've never found the bathroom. And we are usually walking over there on the beach, and it's kind of hidden back here behind all the dunes. And it's an entire, like, bathroom, and um, that's Scott. He found the bathroom, that's what I'm telling you. It was a, an entire bathroom, concession stand, a pool, like a public pool. I mean, it's nuts. What else is over there? Did you see? Pool. Can so anyone can anyone swim there? I don't get that far into it. Does it closed? Mm -hmm. Anyway, now we're heading out. Once again, I'm going to mention the meth lab. 
We have to see it. It's like, what did that sign say? Beach segregation. This was the first, this South Lido Beach was a black beach at one time. This was where the first integration of the beaches happened, it's right down here. I didn't know they ever had beach segregation. Yeah, that's what that says. That is so weird. Oh, there's, there's, yeah, this is it. This oh is it. my gosh, there's the fire truck TV still here. here. Here's all the TV Fox News, Channel 8 News. ABC Action News. There they are. See, this is how boring our town is. It's something like a meth lab blowing up gets major news coverage. I mean, it's on the beach. So it's down here in the tower. People, it's all the money. Yeah, there's that's a lot of money. To live down here. There's a lot of money. I don't get it. Oh, that's pretty. All right. There's probably been tons of wind noise anyway in my film, so. We're headed back home now, and what's so funny, it's 4.08. My daughter just called. She got home from school, and she called, where are y'all? And I'm like, we're in Sarasota. <gasps> Sarasota? What are you doing in Sarasota? She was all appalled, and I'm like, what's up with you? And then she says, well, actually, I wanted to go to so-and-so's house, and I'm out of gas. Yeah, that's why she's upset that we're not home, is because we have the gas credit card and all the cash. So... She always thinks that we should be at I don't, her beck and call. Yeah, yeah, be at her beck and call. It's hilarious. Anyway, I know it's too dark in here for me to even be filming because now it's all cloudy. So, Scott just told me to sign off. He's waving me off. All right, bye. I hope you've enjoyed this day in the life. See ya.